Hi friends, so welcome back to another video. Uh, as you all know that few days back I've started a, a new series of video lectures that is on current affairs, uh, some important topics of history and uh, geography and so on. With that uh, I actually posted one important video that is on article 370 already and uh, I got some very good feedback on it. And now I'm coming up with another video on current affairs. Uh, so now the topic for this video will be bad time for men. Now hearing or looking at the topic you may you know get a little bit uh, you know excited or surprised or sometimes even what the hell is going on whatever it is but this is the topic uh, that I would like to pick it up now and uh, what is this topic is all about and what's happening and uh, what the what does this mean ultimately we will see in this particular video. Now this is one editorial that was published in a newspaper uh, uh, from that I have uh, taken the source for this particular topic then I have done my own uh, research on this particular area I have collected few graphs of relevance and uh, put together I have made a particular uh, uh, script and uh, of course based on facts <laughs> so this will be really interesting as well as I thought that uh, this particular topic has got some relevance to the normal public or general public as well. So that's the reason I'm, I took this particular uh, topic as my second video after article 370. Right guys, so without wasting any further time, let's go with this video. Hi friends, this is Prasanna Kumar and welcome to my channel. Right guys, <coughs> now what we'll do is that uh, as you can see, uh, let's start with this particular video. Right now, as you can see the topic over there, can you see that? So it's bad time for men and as you can see nature's revenge. So what's actually happening? So let's get to the topic first. See, all of you have been hearing quite a, uh, uh, you know, quite a number of years since uh, that uh, people prefer male child, uh, they don't prefer female child and you have been hearing of feticides, female feticides. Uh, you know infanticides etc uh, now ultimately that particular of course it's a grave mistake that is being done by the people because of various reasons over a period of time and uh, we have been hearing this and uh, lots of movies have come on that lots of debates has happened in newspapers and I mean news channels as well a uh, little bit of awareness yes we have gone through the positive note but uh, still for all the mistakes that we have done since past 10 or 15 years where we were trying to disturb the nature's balance by uh, killing the female uh, child inside the womb of the mother, now we are going to pay the price for it. And this video is about that particular thing with facts, uh, what are the danger that men are going to face especially in India and China. So I have been covering both the countries, I mean I will be covering both the countries, China as well as India and uh, let's see it with facts and supportive figures right guys so let's go so as you can see it's bad time for men nature's revenge okay right first of all have a look into this guys so unnatural selection so what do you mean by this unnatural selection let's try to understand first so as you can see here both india and china are known as societies that reduce their numbers through various means uh, as you can see this is how they are reducing the numbers of female uh, child one is contraception as you know what is contraception right taking pills and stuff like that you know to do the abortion then you have feticide then you have infanticide feticide you already know that killing the child within the womb infanticide means once the child is born within a year girl child is born within a year uh, the mother tries to kill her and that's infanticide which is very bad and the last one is neglect of girls what do you mean by neglect of girls it means that a girl child will be born and uh, they'll be left over like that that's it uh, they'll not take care of their health uh, they'll not take care of their food whether the child is taking food uh, within time what is the problem that child is facing at a tender age of six months one year one and a half year and all they'll just ignore the girls like that and ultimately they may you know die eventually or if the time is really good and uh, fortunate enough then they will you know grow like that only with little bit of defects or some health problems and issues like that which is very bad. So these are all the four things that's happening not only in our country but also in China especially these two countries in the entire world. So one is contraception, feticide, infanticide as well as the fourth most important thing that is neglecting the girl child once they are born. 
So as you can see here, uh, today the horror story is that China with 3.4 crore more men than women, that is the, uh, as you can know, the China population is 140 crores. You can see it from the slides over there, here. And then you have India with 3.7 crore more men than women. So when compared to the number of women, the men in China is almost 3.4 crore more. And in India, it is almost 3.7 crore more. And as you can see, it has changed the gender ratios dramatically. And of course, uh, approximately if you total this up, it comes around 7 crore extra men. And the most important point to note here is, in that 7 crore, as you can see there, 5 crore are under 20 years of age. Which means that tells you that in last 20 years, all these nonsense things has happened, which is really, really, really bad. Right guys? So this is what is happening in both the countries. As you can see, drastic change in gender ratios very very bad and the future is going to be really dark right let's move on so consequences of this imbalance now everybody has been asking the same question okay yeah okay fine 3.4 crore men is more than women approximately in both the nations okay fine what's gonna happen because of that what are all the side effects dangerous side effects and little bit normal side effects all of them we're gonna see what are the problems of this imbalance as you can see the slides over here first point these are dangerous of course it is dangerous you should understand just try to imagine how dangerous it is first thing men without wives are marginalized especially in villages as you can see even in our indian villages also if people if they can't marry they'll be kept aside marginalized means it means uh, that men will be treated as insignificant okay they'll not be given due importance maybe i cannot say untouchables but more or less almost equal to that they'll be treating the men like that so if at all men are not getting married it's happening in our country as well in china also uh, the villages of china and india are more or less the same almost 70 to 80 percent the kind of situations socio-economic things and all those things are more or less the same so these guys whoever has uh, yeah whoever has not married they will be marginalized so this is the first point right guys Moving on to the second one, poor or ordinary men usually can't find wives, as you can see there. Uh, because obviously, see, uh, when the number of men is more and when the number of women is less, the bargaining power of women increases, isn't it? So obviously, they don't marry the ordinary men. They want somebody who has really settled where their demands keeps on getting increasing, obviously. As a result, these guys can't marry. And dowries by men to women in China have gone up sharply in recent years. You look at that point terribly terribly yeah that's what see if you touch the nature this is how nature will react are you able to get me so whatever that's natural whatever that is given by the nature we should accept it as it is you try to mess with the nature boom kaboom that's it as you can see forget about dowries by women to men which is happening in our country even that is also reducing but uh, as you can see there in china the dowry from men to women as you can see have gone up sharply in recent years this is what happens because of this imbalance. Very, very, very bad. And look at the last point. Brokers are making hay, although do not always help marriages getting done. So which means, uh, moreover in China this is happening when compared to India, where the brokers say that, okay, I'll uh, get you a bride and they'll take a hell lot of money and they don't guarantee a bride all the time. And ultimately these guys, are they end up spending a lot of money giving to the brokers and ultimately they don't find a bride. Horrible, isn't it? Right. It doesn't stop here. Let's go further. This is the most important point for which attracted me to make this particular video. Everybody has been listening in uh, news channels, newspapers. We've heard about Nirbhaya case and recently we heard about Katua case. The point that you have to understand here is that there are so many reasons for rapes happening. Of course, uh, incidental reasons, uh, sometimes uh, the other things, drugs, uh, drinks, stuff like that. So many reasons are there. But one of those reasons is this one. So look at the one of the dangerous side effects. This is the root of the stories of collective rape and harassment of girls that fill our popular newspapers. So this is really bad. I always say that whenever people share something on the Facebook and stuff like that, of course, they go purely based on emotion. But always when you want to kill a tree, if you keep on cutting the branches, it's not going to work. You have to find the reason, the root of the reason, and then you have to take it up from the root level such that you, the tree gets killed permanently. If you keep on you know, cutting uh, the wooden branches or stuff like that, it keeps on growing again and again. So always find out the root problem and then try to what? Finish it off. 
so rape is a really big problem in our country and we want to fight it yes you can fight it how find out the root problem root cause of the problem and then try to clean it up this is one of the reasons why rapes are happening okay so obviously what what's what's the solution to avoid this it's pretty simple encourage the girl child let the nature be itself do not mess with it and let the nature go on and obviously one of the reasons for rape will get closed up and that's a good news of course right because to that extent the rapes will get what reduced and remaining things we can take care right remaining things we can fight in itself in individuality but this is one of the reasons which i want you guys to make a note of right okay now this is another funny thing that's happening in china marriage tours what do you mean by marriage tours uh, because many chinese men in in, in particular china Uh, they are not finding bride so what they are doing is that they are going to other southeast asian nations like for example as i have given here vietnam or cambodia they go for marriage tours and then uh, they try to get brides from there and obviously in those countries uh, the girls they they look for better standard of living and when compared to those countries like vietnam or cambodia china has got better standard of living and that's one of the reasons why uh, the brides may show interest in uh, these unmarried Ch chinese men and they may come back to china and that's also one of the reasons because uh, and one more thing is that many a times even though these guys they go on marriage tours most of the times as you can see here uh, they come back empty handed despite spending a lot of money and some of the rich uh, chinese men they go looking for a blonde girls in uh, russia as well as ukraine uh, but that is the case when it comes to china okay rich people they go for russia and ukraine poor people they go for southeast asian nations that is vietnam or cambodia but the funny part here is indians are like a frog in a well right all these unmarried men in a village in india the, there is a caste barrier there is a language barrier there is a religion barrier crossing all these barriers like chinese men these guys are not going to any other country nor so it's becoming more and more bad or i can say more and more uh, too much negativity is happening for the indian men especially who are living in villages because like chinese men they can't go to the other countries because as i told you there are a lot of barriers that stopping them and this has become really really a grave concern for them and as you can know one of the greatest side effects are that if they are not married they are marginalized in the villages which really affects their uh, psychological part and their general way of living also right guys chalo okay now let's see the beginning of the horror so what's actually happening if this trend continues then let's see how our future is going to be already it's dangerous now how far the horror is going to happen in future if this trend continues without getting rectified or corrected let's see so if this preference for the boy child continues then both the nations are getting into serious trouble with each passing year uh, if we define the marriage squeeze indicator so we have just taken this particular uh, topic called i mean a point called marriage squeeze indicator uh, as a ratio of number of men with the number of i mean seeking brides to the number of available girls then if you look at the marriage squeeze indicator uh, in china it was 99 men looking for brides in 2010 visa was uh, 100 women in 2050 if you can see it will increase up to 186 versus, versus 100 which means uh, every time 100 girls enter into the market for the purpose of marriage on the other side there will be 186 men uh, available for that particular marriage which means it's almost 2 is to 1 ratio which is very bad and if you can see in india right now itself in 2010 it's already 104 so every time there are 100 women seeking marriage there are 104 men on the other side this may increase all the way to 189 which is very very bad in 2050 that's what that is a horror story that we can understand if this is not rectified now this is what the future is going to be very 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 dangerous also the proportion of unmarried men at 50 years will rise in china from 3.3% in 2010 to almost 21.4% in 2070 just imagine almost 20 greater than 20% of the men are unmarried horrible this will really lead to a lot of uh, imbalance in the society crimes will start happening rapes will start happening a lot of other uh, socio economic dangerous things will start happening and that's the reason it's it's a part and parcel of on all of us all of us uh, to rectify this particular thing right chalo in india of course uh, it's a little bit better it's from 101% to 14.1 i mean 9% in 2070 okay so we need to wake up now if we wake up now then what will happen as you can see here if both nations wakes up now and remove sex determination then these numbers will be less damaging but ultimately we can't escape from the damage that one thing is for sure 
damage is going to happen for sure because already whatever the mistake that we have done for the past 20 years we have to rectify that so we have to pay the price right so for the mistake that we have already done pay the price now and at least now you realize and try to rectify so that the future will be less damaging otherwise you can't even imagine right guys Chalo, moving on to the next one balance development so other things that people are trying to say is that okay uh, in future what's gonna happen already there is an imbalance right so you let the men wait for a few more number of years uh, like for example normally you will marry at 28 years let's say or 26 let's put it that way then you better wait for 30 years or 32 years so that in those six years that you are waiting more females will be born and ultimately you can marry that is one logic that people are talking but here also there is a problem if you wait for six more years then what happens is that by the time as you can see now the you know uh, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of technologically developed uh, countries or kind of uh, environment that you are facing right now so even girls also they are not willing to marry at an early age they want themselves to be settled well and as a result they don't marry at 20 or 22 they want you know to marry at 26 or 28 or 30 as a result even this will not help you at all that's what this particular topic that we are trying to say as you can see here uh, they may get younger women to marry with although that may not remove the gender imbalance but it would be good however there is a problem as the women become in short supply in the marriage market they will definitely exploit the available opportunities of education and employment and may marry at even a later age than now so it's not going to help that much okay now as you can see here yes the word is right golden age is over it seems for all practical purposes men's golden age is over in both the nations nature will have extracted its revenge for having treated females badly this was the exact sentence written by the author and i took that sentence as it is because it's it really uh, rings the warning bells because you have made the mistake men your golden age is over of course uh, then you know nature you have treated uh, you have messed with nature and now obviously it's gonna have its own revenge right guys now so what is the conclusion that we can make sex determination culture in both china as well as india has led to an acute reduction in number of women in the society affecting the marriage markets heavily the number of unmarried men will keep on rising in both the nations unless we take steps right now and we stop the sex determination all these things nonsense that we are doing and at least so that our future will be less damaging damage has happened and you will see that damage in future also we can't escape from it the but the only thing that we can do is we may make it less damaging right guys so i would like to show you a few images so that uh, that will help you a little bit right uh, this is one funny image that i want to take because generally people say that boys don't cry yes they do <laughs> once they uh, come to this sort of thing once you get marginalized because of not having marriage in villages obviously you do cry isn't it okay so this is another pick so that's a big way the Chinese men are going for marriage tours uh, so as you can see the situation pretty bad and I want to show you one more yeah have a look into this graph uh, as you can see here number of men for every hundred women aged 15 to 29 okay see here guys okay you just see here can you see this so what's happening here uh, this is right now 2018 and you can see uh, you can see that 111 men are available for 100 women so already there are 11 extra men right now okay so this is uh, China and this is India so here 112 for every 100 and here 111 for every 100 are you able to get me so one blue is India and uh, this this particular thing is China so whatever it is whether it is India or it is China you have more men with respect to women already and if you see the future as you can see it's increasing there is a steep increase I think this will be approximately 2030 something and here of course not that steep, but it's fine are you able to see me right so this is what gonna happen this is very bad and that's why what we have to do uh, spread the message to everyone share this particular video so that everybody will know what's the danger that has already happened and how the future is going to be pretty much dark and the good time for men is already over unless we wake up now the future is going to be very dark right guys i hope you have enjoyed the video if you really enjoyed 
like the video as obvious everybody will ask the same and uh, subscribe for my channel for more interesting videos and definitely comment because i want to feel how you guys feel about this particular video sorry i want to know yeah <laughs> okay guys bye bye thank you jai hind